Hi, in this video, I will show you how to run a simulating model multiple times, obviously programmatically, in order to see the impact of one or more components on the output of your simulation. In order to show this, I use this very simple model. We have a DC source of 20 volts. There is one ohm resistor here. There is an ideal switch. We turn on the ideal switch and the voltage will be applied across this RLC circuit. This one is 4 ohm and 10 millihenry, and this capacitance is 1 microfarad. So when we turn it on, basically the inductor and capacitor will be charged, and when we switch it off, we have an oscillation inside this RLC circuit, and we are interested in the voltage across this RLC circuit. So first, let us run this model to see the outcome. So the voltage first will increase, but then if you wait a bit, it stabilizes because the voltage would divide between these two resistors. So it becomes 4 divided by 5 times 20, 16 volts here. And then when we open the switch, it starts to oscillate. We will have some over voltage and then it oscillates and goes to 0. Now the idea is that we want to run this simulation for several number of capacitors and then we want to compare the output together. So first thing we have to do is to add a component into this model, go to the library and search to work a space because we have to extract the data. So this component you add it and connect it to the output that you want. So in this case if we run the model basically the voltage data and also the time series will be Send to the workspace. Let us do this. All right, so the simulation is done and the data is transferred to the workspace, sim out. If you double click on it, you see that we have time vector and we have the data. So if you want to plot, for example, this data, you can just type plot sim out dot time versus sim out dot data. And basically, we will have the same plot as we saw in the simulation. Okay, but now we want to run this simulation for multiple values of capacitance. So you double click on the capacitance and then you assign a value, a parameter. So in this case, I assign C to this. Okay, now we have to save this model. I have saved this model with the name MGH. Okay, and then we have to open a program basically to write a code in order to run this simulation multiple times. So let us look at the code. So I want to do the simulation for three values of capacitor, 1 microfarad, 10 microfarad, and 100 microfarad. So I make two vectors, D and T. We are going to run the simulation uh, three times, obviously, because these are the three values. So from I is equal to 1 to size of this vector. The value of capacitance every time will be one of these values. So I assigned it to C1i. So if i is 1, the value of capacitance would be the first one. If i is 2, it would be the second one, and so on. The command that we have to use is basically sim and then the name of your model. So this will run the simulation. Here is important to save all the data. So you create a struct element, this d that we created for element i, we assign the data, and to the other struct element t, we assign the time data. I decided to use the struct element because the simulations, every time maybe they use different number of uh, steps, so the length of these vectors could be different from one simulation to the other simulation. Therefore, uh, it's better to use it like this. So it basically runs the simulation and saves all the data into these vectors. Okay, let us run the simulation. So for the first time, capacitance is one microfarad, it runs the simulation, and then it will change the value of capacitance and do the other simulation. Okay, so the simulation is finished, all the data are restored, and we can now plot the data. And that can be done very simply. So again, you write a for loop from 
1 to the number of uh, values, so in this case to 3, and then we plot basically the time versus the data for each simulation. Here I also extracted the handle of the plot and I put the handle into this k element so that later on we can access each of these plots. All right, so let me run the plot. Here is the output. We can also assign the legend and change the colors. So this one I have done it here. So legend, I put it here. We can change the color of each of these um, lines. And also we can change the thickness here and also add the label. Run this one. Basically, this is for 1 microfarad, 10 microfarad, and 100 microfarad. All right, so that's how you can run a Simulink model multiple times programmatically. See you next time. Bye.